Hi there, this is Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, adding colored washes with real watercolor brushes, we will discuss two of the new real watercolor brushes that I made for Painter, the Soft Round and Hard Round. These brushes use a circular dab type and are sensitive to flow maps and lay down paint quickly. After demoing the brushes, I'll use them to paint transparent washes over a pen and ink sketch, as you see here. Let's start with the hard round. As you see, real watercolor is chosen in the brush selector, and the hard round variant is chosen. I'm going to paint a stroke. The stroke is of even thickness. That's how the brush is designed, and it paints quickly and it is sensitive to flow map that you see right here. I'm going to change to another flow map and we're going to have a stroke with a different look because the texture in the brush stroke is dependent on the flow map that is chosen. Choose a different color and paint a stroke over and you can see how it melts with the existing color that's on the watercolor layer. And then I just wanted to point out that a watercolor layer is generated when we choose a real watercolor brush. Both of these brushes feature a circular dab type. I'm going to select the soft round and you'll see that it paints a thick and thin stroke with a soft edge around the outside. Both brushes pool transparent color around the edges of the strokes. And I'm going to choose a blue and paint through this one. And you see how nice the color mixes when you overlay a stroke on the watercolor layer. This one is also sensitive to flow maps. I'm going to choose the more contrasty flow map here and paint a stroke and you'll see the flow map texture around the soft edge here. The soft round is a pointed brush that paints a soft edge stroke. To begin coloring my pen and ink sketch, as you see I have a gold color chosen in the color panel here and I have the hard round brush chosen in the brush selector and its default size of 35 pixels and I'm just going to paint very loosely with this brush. Now I'm keeping my stylus pressed down because this is the best way to make a wash that is a smooth wash. If I were to paint multiple strokes then I'm going to get a little bit more of an edge around it like you see right here, if I want texture, I can create brush texture like this. I'm going to continue to brush in the gold color in the background. And this is our, our kitty little doll. This is a sketchbook sketch that I actually made with traditional pencil and pen and ink. And then scanned so that I could bring it into Painter. Okay, we have our background roughed in. Now I'm going to add some darker browns in certain areas. And I'm just brushing very loosely. And see the color is percolating out. And I'm going to add a little bit more brighter gold over in this area right here. Painting very loosely on the sketches. And now I'm going to mix a brown and I'm going to choose the soft round brush and we're going to paint in her ears and her mask. So right now I'm working with the soft round that has more of a pointed tip to it. And just block in her ears right here. And I'm using a very light pressure on the stylus. Give her ears here some color. Next we'll choose some blue for her eyes. And I'm going to size the brush down just a little bit. And we're going to paint some blue on her eyes. 
There we go. To finish, I used the hard round to paint a few more brown and gold washes to the background, and I also used a smaller size hard round brush to add more washes to Little Doll's face. The real watercolor brushes offer a lot of creative possibilities. Enjoy Painter, and happy painting! Thank you.